What up, world? It's Decent back with another Pop Dust exclusive, and my guest at this time just released his debut EP, Yesterday's Tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Broad County's own Bam Savage. Gang, gang, gang. Stick! <laughs> Saying this type of energy. We like you. What's going on, Bam? How you doing, bro? Chilling, man. Chilling. Cold. Cold. You feel me? Different climate. It was spring break back home. Yeah, I know. My bad for getting you up here, taking nah, away from nah, the next nah, weather, man. Bring my ass right back tomorrow, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm lit, well, I tell you. Nah, for real, nah. It's, it, thank you for bringing me out, though, you know. Oh, but I'm out here to show support and everything. Definitely, man. So, <clears throat> just dropped your debut EP. Mm-hmm. Bruh, it knocks, man. Thank it you. really, really does knock. Thank so, you. tell us the inspiration behind it, because I know you've been putting in work for quite some time, but for this to be is, your first project, how, how does it feel, man? When I first dropped it, I was like... It felt weird. You yeah. feel me? No, because the thing is, I rap about everything I go through, so it's like, I also be call, calling, like, my, I call the EP a magic book. Mm. Because, therefore, music is spell. You can look at the word spelling, spell. You know, spelling, spell. It's mm-hmm. like magic book. So, it's like, in my head, I'm like, damn, I just, I just vented. You feel me? Like, mm. I just, I just leak some shit, and now niggas know what I'm going through. But, then it's like, that's what makes the music, you know, authentic and the sound that it has too. You know, you've had a lot of inspiration and a lot of life experience that went into, you know, this project. And I always say, you know, an artist's debut project is kind of like them being introduced to the world, but it's kind of like a culmination of their story up until that point. You know, do you feel like with this project you were able to get a lot of that out and people know who Bam Savage is this first go around? For sure. I mean, like, okay, right before the project, John, I mean, we need, we needed, um, we needed an intro. Mm-hmm. So, um, the intro was actually made about like a month ago. Mm-hmm. All the other songs were made nine months ago. Wow. But I was like, bruh, we gotta give them now. You feel me? Because nine months ago is a little, it's like in music, that's a long, long time. Long time. Yeah. A lot of shit can go on in nine months mentally for, for like yeah, artists. In the music industry, like yeah. nine months is almost like two years. Yeah, sometimes. so I was like, bruh, we need to give them some shit now. Mm-hmm. So then we threw in the intro and it was like, it fit like just right. Yeah, like just right. And then that, like, the intro is as real as it gets. I'm talking about, like, what I'm going through in the moment. And then it just flowed and puzzled with all the other songs and stuff like that. Yeah, everything definitely flows with this project. And you could really sense that, you know, even though, like you said, that one missing piece got created, you mm-hmm. know, most recently, it ties in with everything else that you talked about nine months ago. Yeah. So let's talk about the Feelings Aside video. <laughs> yeah. But, so I, I grew up in an era where artists had to come with the visuals you know See, that, and, and now yeah. you know there's not too many unless you have like a super big budget you know or you have a very very vivid imagination there's not a lot of artists who are really putting all that effort into their visuals but with this one i felt like yo like yeah. for somebody just coming out just coming out the gate they already hitting the ground running with the visuals tell us a little bit about the concept of the video and how everything came to be as well as the song all right so um the song was written like 2017 I wrote that when I was living with my ex my mama kicked me out because the first tattoos I got were on my face you feel me I came home nonchalant like hey what's up man? I'm like boy what the hell going on? Mm. I'm like oh shit it's real wow like, that's as real as it gets she don't kick my ass out now I, I was living with a bitch but then I was you know I was pretty much just fucking the bitch and sleeping in the crib because I had nowhere else to go Hotels were expensive at the time, you feel me? Yeah, you actually kind of said that in the song, too. I fucked the bitches to sleep in the home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how the song came about. Because now I'm putting myself in a toxic position because I don't even want to be there, but I'm being there for life decisions, you feel mm-hmm. me? So you're putting your feelings to, to the side. Yeah, put the feelings to the side. And then eventually, like, Shorty let up too and was just like, all right, cool. It was like a roommate kind of thing. It was weird. It was very weird. But yeah, she let up too and it was just like, feelings aside, you know what? I'm going to do me, you do you, but we right next to each other low key. It was weird. Right, right, right. Now, talk about the video, like, who the, oh, the video? Man, who, you know, who came up with the treatment, you know, what was, you know, your input on it, how'd you feel when you saw the finished product, all that stuff, man, because it's, a, it's a hot video, man. How it came about was, uh, Chris, the director, um, he, he, uh, directed that shit. It was fire as hell. We stole the Joker scene. Yeah, I'm um, hanging out the window. From um Dark Yeah, Night. that that was like that was like the inspiration of it. We got the same rig that was that was used in the movie, bro. The rig was like like five, like probably five, six bands. Just just the rig to hold the camera on the cop car was, was bread. Just the rig itself. Yeah, just to have the same exact shot. That's nice. You feel me? So yeah, we try to nail that one down to the point. I, I 
And the way it came out was like, dope, dope. I fucked with it. Fuck with it too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're from Broward County. I'm from New York, but I, New York I was originally. raised I was raised in Broward. Yeah. Right, right, right. I, I love Broward, but I'm sorry. I'm, I'm from New, New York. Yeah, for sure. I gotta put on. He, he's one of ours. I'm sorry. <laughs> So what was it like making that transition coming from, you know, New York and going down there outside of, you know, the weather, of course? I mean, I was like 10. Mm -hmm. So like young and dumb, like blind. I didn't realize it. I'm going with the flow at that point. You right, feel right. Me? But I think about it all the time. Like if my mama never even moved me to floor, I, I probably wouldn't even be rapping. Really? For sure. I just started doing this shit too. Like for real, mm. like before it was fun, and then niggas got a deal, and I was like, oh shit, now nah, I either gotta do something with this, or I'm gonna fumble and make myself look crazy as hell, you know, for real. So then I started taking that shit mad serious. Mm. Like within the last, what, seven, six months, I just got, that was probably. Got like, focused and just, yeah, you know, just started to really hit the ground. Work mode. The interesting thing about that is like, oftentimes when you know you hear artists say that I just started, and you see the success that you've been seeing. There's a tendency for people to want to hate and say that, you know, you ain't deserve it. But I feel like if you work hard enough and, you know, you do have a goal in mind, you're able to pull that off. Do you feel like you get some of that criticism when people say that, yo, you haven't been yeah, doing but this this long? See, like, yeah, I'll I, I come back with that one. Like, okay, a lot of people can say what they want to say, mm -hmm. you feel me? But at the same time, they don't know what that person did or had a sacrifice to even get themselves into to that position exactly. or get themselves that platform to be able to speak to people. Some people may just want a platform just be able to talk. Some people may not even like rap. I'm not talking, I'm talking like hypothetically speaking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some people may just want a platform. Some people may, you know what I mean? So it, it can go a lot of ways at that. It's like a personal opinion. For me, I just, I just be vented on the music because I know it's relatable. I know I'm human, I got emotions, everybody got emotions, so if I'm not going to relate to it, somebody else going to relate to it, but not similar. Yeah. Just because that's what people go through. It's like you said, you so know. So that's why I stay true to the music, that's, what, that's what's going to sell is being, you know, talking real shit and just being truthful. Yeah, yeah, it's like you said, you know, you got this platform and you making the most of mm -hmm. this platform, not just for yourself, but for people who may not have the opportunity yeah. and the courage to talk about the same things that you're going through. Exactly. But why is it that you think that your region in particular gets so much heat from the industry Why because we ignorant as hell we don't care we ain't got no filter everybody be thinking about what they want to say on, on on the on the goddamn track but it's like what florida that that's dirty south for you that's as dirty south is gonna get and they're gonna tell you how, how it really is and say very explicit and vulgarly exactly what they did in detail you know what i mean like yeah you want to be recognized as you know more so an artist that came up in the scene of florida not so much a florida artist per se yeah just like oh where he came from yeah because then you can you, you tell like something oh that nigga from new york or oh, that nigga from atlanta yeah oh, that but you don't want to be put in the yeah, box and mm -hmm. just have your region be yeah it's the like reason why your sound is make, your sound yeah make them wonder like yo is he even from here exactly so, exactly you feel me and that definitely comes across in you know your music like yeah you can mm -hmm. kind of put a stamp on it and say you look like the rest but at the same time, your experience, your tone, mm -hmm. your sound, your style is all your own, and I feel like that's what's gonna resonate with. That's what. That's what. So, that's the only thing separating separate me mm -hmm. myself right now. I already know image wise, like yeah, he look like him, them niggas. He's one of them. You mm -hmm. feel me? But then music wise, mm -hmm. you probably hear it all the time. Yeah, I mean they gonna hear it for themselves, you know. And then they gonna be like, oh okay. Anybody that you know you may see yourself wanting to collab with, you know, coming up soon, or you I just mean, focus on Bam right now. I'm focused on me, humbly speaking, third person speaking. That the reason why I say that's because okay, hypothetically speaking, yeah, I could go get a Drake feature, mm -hmm. but what you you know that one song Bam had with Drake, you you know that one song Bam had with Drake, or Drake had with Bam. I don't want to be that nigga. Yeah, you feel me? So it's like. I'm gonna wait for them niggas to hit me. You know, they ain't gotta hit me up, but I'm gonna wait to have that platform. It was like, okay, numbers is like almost matching. Well, you, you become get, the guy where yeah, like, yo, yeah, we gotta you gotta know, get band yeah, on exactly. this. Yeah. Exactly. Or even match niggas' numbers. I don't wanna like elevate off of, you know what I mean? I could, yeah. I just have confidence in my music. You and, want your own springboard yeah. as opposed mm -hmm. to, you know, using Because then the fan base is gonna be more of a cult kind of thing. Like, we came from the bottom, now we all the way up here. Yeah. And it's gonna be me and my fans that did that and the people around me that is helping. But 
Because I feel like now... It's more just, authentic that way, too. And you, the fans be more real when you do it like that. Definitely, because in this climate of music, you know... With they, the, they attend the fans like this. Yeah, with the numbers and everything, you want to be as authentic as possible. Mm -hmm. Because they can say what they want about the music. They can say whatever they want about the image. But they can't not the response and, you know, the, the lives that you're touching. And, you know, mm -hmm. if people could genuinely sense that, then you pretty much set, man. But For sure. It's been a pleasure talking to you, brother. Where can they find you at on social media? Um, every I'm everywhere. Well, I only be using Instagram. I don't, that, that's probably about it. <laughs> Give that's, me your IG then. Uh, underscore band savage underscore. You find me there. Whole lot of game shit. I got the SoundCloud too. Got the pan what Pandora, Title, um, Spotify, the, all them other platforms and shit like that. You already know what it is, but um, not for real. Project came out. March 8th, yesterday's tomorrow, go get it. Stick! Like you said, man, ladies and gentlemen, Bam Savage, yesterday's tomorrow's out now. Feelings the side video, make sure you go check that out. I am decent, this has been another Pop Dust exclusive. Make sure you visit our website at popdust.com. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and do us a little favor. Click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. We will see you soon. Peace.